Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to document uh, some temperature readings that I'm getting from some remote temperature sensors uh, today, which is Saturday, December 21st, and it's currently 5.53 in the morning. Um, this temperature here is uh, from a sensor that's built into this display unit, which reads all the other temp remote temperature sensors. Uh, it's a little bit colder because it was sitting on the back window sill. I'm trying to get this um, as close to the signals as possible because as it gets colder, the signals tend to uh, get weaker. And I s sort of lose reception on some of these sensors. Uh, oddly enough, I wasn't getting this. Uh, there's a sensor underneath the uh, Beehive top telescoping cover. And then I realized, well, there's metal on the top cover, and then the Vivaldi board underneath has um, wire mesh over the slots, uh, ventilating slots that uh, it has. So it was cutting, the, it was uh, blocking the signal, but then, oddly enough, it started reading. So, yeah, it's currently 63, almost 63 degrees in, it's starting to warm up, but it's really dry in the house, 15% humidity. Outside temperature, this sensor, sensor number three here is a sensor that's in the shed. So it's 15 degrees and it's 66% humidity, which is odd because I thought as the temperature drops, more of the moisture gets locked up and it gets drier outside, but it's reading 66% humidity. Sensor number two is the one that I'm interested in. This is the sensor, like I said, that is underneath the telescoping cover of the beehive. Now uh, I had cut a piece of styrofoam that fits the inside dimensions of the telescoping cover and also the um, Vivaldi board dimensions that it's right that's right underneath it which were the two a little bit different so I had to cut a little bit of a, a notch into it so about a half of an inch of it fits into the inside dimensions of the Vivaldi board. Uh, the, the Vivaldi board has a round hole in the center um, and then it also has slots on two out, uh, outside um, sides that are screened off uh, that uh, are built that way to allow moisture to escape. But it's not just a, a, a straight exit for uh, the heat that the bees are generating. I have it packed with uh, burlap. So I couldn't fit the sensor um, right over that hole because there's a little screen cage that they give you so that the bees can't escape uh, and get into the Vivaldi board because um, there's no exit, you know, it's just all screened in. So they have a little cage that they've built and then there wasn't a space between the styrofoam and the uh, little screen cage. So the sensor's a little off to the side and I can't remember if it's facing up or facing down but it's getting it's reading the temperature you know at that point there you know whatever's radiating through um, that quarter inch plywood um, and like I said it's all packed with uh, the burlap and then it has the styrofoam just above it. So it's reading, you know, 40 degrees. It must be an indication that the bees are still alive and 61% humidity. This temperature sensor number one is the lean-to temperature sensor. I currently have um, a oil-filled electric heater on, which really makes the electric meter spin, but it's 15 degrees outside and there's no way it's going to be able to maintain anywhere near 32. I don't. I think it's around 32 because yesterday I was reading about this 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 uh, 27 degree uh, Fahrenheit, um, and I had a container of water that was not frozen. So it's sitting on a little bit of a ledge uh, on the back steps floor that's on the other side of the wall that that I built. Um, so it's a little bit colder there. I've got a fan that's on that's circulating the air over the heater. As the heat rises off of that, it gets blown through the uh, lean-to. So hopefully that's, you know, a, temp a temperature that the figs can, can withstand. Um, 
Yeah, so it's 40 degrees at that point. Maybe I should have tried. Underneath the Vivaldi board is also a candy board. So there's a layer of candy. Uh, I put some couple of holes uh, when I formed the candy. Uh, there's a couple of holes in it. And then underneath that, I poked some holes in some newspaper um, that was uh, laid underneath so that the candy didn't just go through the mesh, the wire mesh that I had uh, on the bottom of that. So I could try to, I don't want to, Monday is supposed to be 51 degrees, so there should be some cleansing flights. And so if they are active, I might try to take that temperature sensor and uh, put it, so it's maybe sitting on top of the candy board. Um, but yeah, the temperature at that point where it's located right now is 40 degrees. So that should indicate, be a good indication, you know, 15 degrees outside, 40 degrees uh, where that sensor is. Something's warming, um, creating heat. So yeah, just wanted to document that real quick and uh, see what what bees are active on Monday. Hopefully they, they uh, will be active and doing some cleansing flights. So this is New England Gardening. Uh, thanks for watching.